Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Libra for the week of November 21st through the 27th of 2022. I hope everyone's doing well. And I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up. And a special thanks to those of you who have subscribed and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Libra, first card out, the Ten of Rods. So, learning to delegate, putting down the burdens this week for yourself, not taking on so much responsibilities all the time. You're learning that, you know, if you ask for help, you'll get it. It's okay to take help from others, not always be so independent for yourself. And the Eight of Rods. So some sort of surprise unexpectedly coming in this week for you. Maybe the help that you've been looking for is, you know, not only have they offered, but they're going to show up. That sort of thing. So you're quite happy about it. You know, it's going in a good direction. Friends, relatives, that sort of thing. You know, it's just going to be a surprise to you. Un totally unexpected, but well appreciated. And the chariot. So you made a decision. You're moving forward. You know, you've realized something for yourself. Some sort of path that you care to choose to take in life. So you're clearing things up. You're moving forward. Uh, for others of you, this could be you deciding to take a quick getaway. You know, just deciding to go shopping, say. Go visiting people. That sort of thing. You're just taking a time out for yourself, you know, and going forward. But remember, if that's you, you know, get your vehicles checked. Always keep them tuned up because the weather is definitely changing where I am. And you never know if it's going to snow or not. So, but you're forging ahead. You know, you've made, you're following your intuitions more this week. You're feeling a little more. Uh, victorious in things that you're doing you're you're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel you're mastering your your crafts and your emotions and the six of pentacles so feeling abundant having you know enough not worrying so much this week about different things finances you know that sort of thing you're willing to share and help others and that could be in knowledge as well you know You've had some lessons to learn, but, you know, you've asked for help and you've given it as well. So it's coming back to you paid. And you're thankful for it. And the hermit. So taking the time out for yourself. Stepping back. Realizing all that you've accomplished. Realizing which way you want to go. You know, you have the lantern there and it's definitely showing you the right direction. You're just taking this well-deserved time out for yourself this week you've put a lot of energy and effort into different parts of your life and you've shared a lot you've given a lot people are trying to now share and give back to you so but you've decided that you know this is the week you're going to take a well-deserved time for yourself so that you can you know figure out where you want to go what you want to have in your life you know, you're turning off your cell phone. You're just taking quality time for yourself. And the tower. So you're realizing, you know, you've got that flash of insight. You're realizing where you come from, what you have, what you want to have. And the foundation that you have. Now, if this is a job for some of you, you're realizing that what you start thought was so stable isn't. It's starting to show it's ugly colors to you and you're realizing that you're learning to curb your impulses you're keeping to yourself a little bit more you know you're realizing who's your friends and not your friends because they're showing their true colors so you're realizing who you want to cut loose out of your your life so that you can have more you know you've had some sort of wake-up call an aha moment in your life and you realize that you can see the road clearly now on what you have to do to make your life more pleasurable and sound 
and the high priestess. So maybe you've heard from somebody in your past recently that you haven't heard from for quite some time. And they're giving you that little more of an insight of what you can actually expect to be coming into your life. So you've got that extra, you know, flash of insight. You know, and this could also be for some of you, a uh, family member who has a little bit more to say. You know, maybe somebody's talked to them and they're passing it on to you, that sort of thing. And that could be your aha moment as well. You know, they, they know they have a lot of knowledge and a lot of skeletons in the closet and the family. So you might want to, you know, talk to them a little bit, but reveal nothing of yourself. And the Empress. So very nice. You know, you're feeling more abundant. You're starting to feel a little more, you know, robust about yourself. You're starting to feel better about yourself. You know, you're starting to see that the ground and foundation that you're creating for yourself is getting more and more solid. It's starting to, you know, um, if it's a job, it's bringing in more money, that sort of thing. New projects are starting to take, you know, more solid foundation to them. For some of you, this could be an addition to coming into the family. You know, maybe you're becoming a great aunt or, you know, a grandparent in some cases or... You know, this could be a new fur baby addition to the to the family as well. But and for others of you, if this is a project, you're heading at it, you know, full heartedly. You're realizing what you want and where you want to plant your seeds so that they grow in the future. Your health is starting to feel more better for yourself. You're just feeding the spiritual garden in yourself. And the Ace of Swords. So most definitely stand in your ground. You know, if you were feeling a little bit set back or stumped about something, you're starting to feel this week a little more inspired. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, which way you got to go to get this, you know, uh, create a project off the ground. I'm the temptress. So most definitely... Some sort of get together for some of you. So this is a mixing of, you know, the different people, places and things. You're feeling more healthy, more harmonious. People are starting to see that smile back on your face they haven't seen in a while. You know, you're starting to put a lot of your burdens down. You're getting along more with the family members. You're feeling a little more accepted and you're accepting them. You know, but you're still working away hard at whatever it is that you're taking a chosen step in but you're not letting everybody know all the information and the queen of swords well there you are showing up so most definitely things are going in your direction you know you're not mixing your words you're standing your ground you're not being blunt about it you're choosing what you say very diligently you know you're very skilled at your profession you tell the truth. You like the truth to be told to you. And, you know, you've if you've been recently tempted to do something shady, you won't. And you, and you know the consequences of the actions. So, and the Six of Cups. So, a little nostalgia, looking back. Maybe that, you know, relative that you spoke to that knew so much about it, maybe you're starting to realize that, it's explaining a little bit more of your past to yourself, you know, and for some of you, maybe you're thinking of going, you know, to see an old friend that you haven't seen for a long time. Just maybe you come across an email or a letter, or maybe they might have even sent you a text message that you haven't heard from them for a long time. So you're just, you know, remembering the good times. And the Eight of Pentacles. You're definitely not shy about working. You know, you put your head down, you know what you want to succeed at, and what you have to do to get there, and you're willing to do it. And you're very crafted at the jobs that you already have in your life. You know, and that can be a stay-at-home mom. That takes a big responsibility to do that. But you're doing it very well. Maybe you're going to go back to some sort of course of study. 
maybe something you've come across as sparked an interest in you and you're going to look into it a little bit further. Maybe you've realized that it could be um, a money maker for you in the future. So you're looking into it. You're not, not shy about working hard. And the four of rods. So definitely good solid foundation. You know, whatever you're checking into and looking into making money from in the future, it's going to pay off for you here. You know, you, people are starting to realize who you are and what you bring to the table and what you've accomplished. You're getting along with, you know, family and friends. You're starting to spend a little more time. They got the, you know, you got that spark in your eye back that you haven't had for a long time. You're starting to bask in your own accomplishments. You're rewarding yourself. You know, rewarding yourself can be just going out and get that coffee or tea that you always liked. And the Nine of Pentacles. So wish fulfillment. Very nice. Maybe you've, you know, made a wish in the past and it's coming now. Maybe you've even forgot that you made that and then it'll come back to you that aha moment going, oh, I remember, or somebody will remind you, you know, that you made that wish a long time ago. Some sort of creative idea that you've had for a long time. And maybe you've decided, somebody said, oh, didn't you? think about that a long time ago sort of thing but it's it's going to be offered to you and you're going to be quite happy to take it <laughs> and the fool there you go you know step step in the right direction for yourself you know you're trusting in your blind faith you, you're realizing that you're on the right path for you at the right time things are just starting to line up for you in a good positive way you know you're paying off your bills you know, you're starting to feel more um, not so heavy. And I'm not talking about weight. I'm talking about burdens. You know, you're just starting to feel more rejoice. And, and you're, you know, you were glad to see that insight into what was happening in your life so that you can make the right decisions for yourself going forward. All right. And the Angel Oracle card. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Well, there you go, Libra. Isn't that beautiful for you? All right. On that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.